one last quick check before we hit the road and welcome back to another video so I'm trying to stay a wee bit quiet because there's people about I'm trying to get the boat launched so what plan today is we're going to go out up onto the lower lock and we're going to do a bit of trout fishing trolling for trout so I'm trying to keep my eye on everything so yeah I'm going to do a bit of trolling for trout I've got Keith with me Keith is away parking the car Keith's obviously a regular comes out quite a lot and uh, this is uh, this is Keith's caravan park so uh, we'll have a, the run of the slipway today hopefully it's not too busy and yeah there he's coming I'm going to do a bit of trout fishing first hit I think it's a perch though it could be nothing no it's a perch We're going to get a few of these today, I think. On the on the gravity twitch. Quite a lot of fish. Oh, quite a lot of fish showing on the fish finder. The perch are hugging tight to the bottom. <laughs> Quick release then. So yeah, as you can see, there's the shoals coming up now. Quite a few of them. So I'd imagine we're going to get quite a few perch today. Yeah, it gives you a bit of a look at how we're fishing. Thought I got a bite there. It's just the planer board pulling. So obviously, as you can hear, there's no sound of an engine at all. So we're using the trolling motor at the front. I'm steering it with the with the remote. Um, nice and easy, following the maps, staying tight to the islands. Um, Rods, we're trolling with four rods set up with the planer boards. The planer boards bringing out the, the back rods so we can fish obviously without getting tangled. Two rods at the back. Majority of the lures we're using are the are the stickle bait. Twitches are the gravity are the gravity baits from Savage Gear. Gravity twitch. So that's more along the lines of what we're using majority of the day. Different things there, but that'll be the that'll be the brunt of it. Um, they're the ones that's caught the perch so far. Have you tried crankbaits and things like that too? And that's really it. Didn't bring any any pike stuff, nothing else. All trout. We're focused on the trout. That's why we've only got the small net. So that'll be interesting to see if we do hook into something quite substantial. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Okay, so we're into our first sizable fish put a proper bend on the raw but we don't know what it is yet. Any idea Keith? Try it or a perch. Let's come up to the surface quite quick. Just as we were putting the rods out we were just moving spots. Grab the net. But if it's a perch it's going I think it's a it's a decent one. On the gravity twitch. It pulled the whole rod round, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh. yeah, so quite a few of these guys today then. Oh, another perch. It seems to be you can't really get the rods out for for very long without getting nailed. A lot of perch about. All very, very small. You know, realistically we're fishing over over 18 foot of water. You know, the gravity twitch is only going down a few feet, say a three foot at most. We're still nailing lots and lots of them guys. Really, really plump, good condition. Not what we want, but we're catching fish. Okay. Double header then. One for me and one for Keith. Who's gonna be the biggest?
And mine's come up to the surface quite quick. What about you? Oh, I think I might have you. Oh, I do. Mine's, mine's actually not bad. There's a big fish jumped up behind us. Oh, yeah, mine's decent fish. Pick that. No, that's, that's definitely <laughs> It's the biggest one today, I keep, is it? Okay, so we've hooked into something quite substantial here. Big dead weight. Just need to knock the engine way, way, way back. Keith, I might need you to bring the other rods in, buddy. Because this, there's no turning this fish. It's right, right and heavy. <laughs> right, and I'm, I'm going to put the spot lock on if you get the other rod as well. So we'll put this on on a zero to five gram rod. And let's tuck a it's right up at the surface, so we don't know what it is. We don't know if it's a trout or if it's a really big perch. I think it could be a big, big perch. But it's the first time we've had something there the day where it's really, really nailed it. No, it's a trout. Uh, it's wrapped around the line just. But we've had our first trout. Oh! Yeah, he's just wrapped in the line. I said that he's talking the Gobi crank. No, no, not yet, not yet. Lovely fish. Lovely markings on it, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I would say good netting, Keith, but it wasn't. Like. <laughs> good man, right. Got the wheel hooking mat there and we'll get it out. Oh, tap, 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 tap. Oh, the, the hook's right in the, in the net, so that's a good thing. Target species, 50, say 50 centimeters maybe, maybe a bit more. Oh. But uh, took a goby crank, natural colored one, great fight on the light tackle. But uh, that's what we were after and thankfully we got, got a hold of one. Really, really nice pattern, lovely, lovely fish. We get it back. Keith coming down with the car. So that's it, game over. Thankfully we caught a trout, which was obviously the aim of the game. Anytime you come to lock iron and catch a trout, it's always, always a good day. It's certainly not the easiest water to catch, catch trout, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, really enjoyable day. We had hundreds of perch, easy hundreds of perch. There was one point today, there was four, four perch on every rod. It was a bit, a bit mayhem. Um, but yeah, enjoyable day. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.